Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming, and welcome back to our channel. Happy Friday, everyone! So, for today's video, I'm going to show you how I farm for slimes in hard mode. So, I was farming for slimes for for the past few hours today, and I decided that why not I'm going to show you how I do it using my team. So, even though if it's just in hard mode, I was able to get or farm for a lot of a good amount of slimes. And it really helped me a lot when it comes to building my team. So here we are in the Path of Adventures. So first, I just want to heal up. <laughs> and it's because if you are using Latel in your team, you might know by now that he is using a certain amount of HP. I think 5% of his HP whenever he uses his skills. So therefore, if you've been battling for quite some time or for a few battles, so eventually his HP really gets low. So since I'm not bringing any healers in my team, so what I do is just check. Although it doesn't end up dying or getting that knocked out, I think the least amount of HP is about 19. That's what I see or that's how I observe when it comes to my Latel. So it's 19 over I think 2000 plus. So that's the lowest and when I see that, I just stop battling, go up in the ship again and have a rest so that their HP is going to be restored. So first I'm going to show you my team. So my main team composes of these heroes, Cry, Wiggle, Alec, Latel, and Grey. And when it comes to their costumes, so for Cry, I'm using Liberated Marauder. It's because if you can see this one, if you can see my cursor, I'm pointing to the path of attack. So he attacks in this X formation. So just think about, although I'm not trying to pressure you, but it would be a good idea if you can like defeat all of the enemies in just one turn. It's not really that I recommend you to do that, but it would be better so that you will be able to save a lot of time. So with this formation, you can see Cry is able to hit this tiles, five tiles, therefore that would be five enemies. And also based on his skills, it says here decrease defense by 50% for four turns. So let's say upon hitting these enemies in X formation and let's say they are still going to survive. So therefore the next one who's going to attack these enemies will have their damage increase because of the defense by 50%. Because the second costume for Cry is this one, Violent Student. It's just two squares horizontally. So it would be better if I'm going to use this one because he will be able to attack a lot of enemies, about five, and have their defense decrease by 50% for four turns. Now, my next uh, hero is Wiggle. And I'm using this one. It's because of the self-destruct. So you can see it's 3,720 physical damage with self-destruct by 500,000. 500, uh, 500,000. 500% of attack. <laughs> so that's really huge. 500%. And you can see the formation of his attack is in this plus form. So all of the enemies in this formation will be able to get hit. And now for Alec, I just have one costume for him. And you can see his path of attack is just these two squares, vertical. And then for Latel, currently I have three costumes for him, but I prefer to use this one. And remember guys, whenever you use Latel, it says here, cost of 5% of current HP for two turns. And that goes to his other costumes, whether it's the original one or this one, you can get this from the story, from Blood Rhapsody. But you can see the path of attack. For this one, it's just one square. This one, it's two square diagonally to the to the upper left. <laughs> yes, going that way. But for this one, it's three style. Ah, uh, three styles, not styles. Three tiles vertically. So you can see. And also, when it comes to gray, it's three tiles horizontally. So I only have one costume for gray. So also when it comes to gears, currently I'm just using R gears for all and I have it enhanced to plus 9. That would be very helpful. 
So currently, uh, when it comes to my heroes that are able to craft for gears, particularly for Fred or Layla. So between them, I would recommend that you should be using Layla if you have her early when you start the game. It's because her maximum level is legendary when it comes to crafting. Whereas for Fred, it's just in expert mode. So when it comes to legendary mode for Layla, she'll be able to craft UR gears for you. So therefore, you'll be able to wear them one day. And currently, I'm just using R gears. And I'm really looking forward that someday I'm going to use SR gears going to UR. But with this R gears, it's really decent enough because I was able to do hard mode and I just do it in auto mode and it really helped me a lot. I was able to get a lot of slimes and currently we have this event wherein we get this particularly currency. Uh, I mean, we can get this current uh, currency. <laughs> wherein we can exchange this but first i'm going to bring you to the slime empire and currently i just farm the slime empires during the days wherein the drop rate is higher so i was saying that currently it's a friday so you can see that this arrow on the upper right corner for the icons of the slime there's this up arrow so that means today the slimes or the drop rate for slimes is much higher. But let's go over here. So next I'm going to show you the battle formation because that's important. Let's look for a slime. Oh, it's the boss. So okay, let's attack it. Okay, let's do this manually. So first, you're going to check the battle formation. So based on the path of attacks, I think the maximum is 9 tiles. So just look at your enemies, their formation, and look at your heroes. So I have my heroes in this formation because first, since I'm using this particular skill for Cry, therefore he'll be able to attack this one. So. It's in X formation, so just look at the enemies. You can see that uh, for this particular battle, there's no change of camera angles. So you can see that the enemies that are going to get hit are this one. It's in X formation. So let's say they still survive after. We can have Wiggle, who's going to do this one. And will self-destruct. And if there are still enemies that will be alive, we can have Latel and Alec who's going to finish them off. And if still <laughs> there are still enemies left, we can have Grey. So let's try with this formation. I'm just going to do this in auto mode. Okay, he was able to defeat those enemies on the corner and then wiggle you can see Latel he's really cute it's like he's squatting and he's, he's listening to his earphones and as you can see wiggle is no longer with us for this particular battle because he self-destruct but the damage we're, we're able to see the damage it was really huge but then when that happens if you are going to the next battle, I think I, fi I finally got it. So as you can see, Wiggle was situated here, second after Cry, right? And now he's below. So I think I got it because for a while I was wondering why the formation suddenly changed. It's because Wiggle self-destruct, so technically he got uh, defeated or he died. So therefore, he went below here and for Alec, Latel, and Gray, who's still alive so the attacks or their actions move up so I think that's the reason why Wiggle is now below here and instead of him who's going to attack next it's going to be Alec so I think that's the case but if you have your heroes who doesn't self-destruct I'm pretty sure that 
the formation will be fixed. So this is just my case. So now you can see that the formation of the enemies have changed because it's usually in random. And now we can change the camera angle. So still, Cryo is going to attack first in this formation. So since there are no enemies here and here, these are the only enemies that are going to get hit for sure. And even though if you are going to put Wiggle over here on the second, remember he self-destructs, right? And we are just going to cancel Gray's kill. He's going to do the normal attack. And when it comes to Wiggle, the coverage will be this one. And since there are no enemies here and at the back, because remember, it's like a plus sign. So these are going to be covered. But since Cry is going to attack first, most likely some of the enemies here are going to get defeated. So most likely what happens, they are going to attack the next enemy who's still alive. So we'll see with this type of formation. So see? We get it! So since the middle enemy was defeated, Wiggle went to this one because since he always attacks in the middle, go or making that plus sign formation. So in other words, usually if the enemy is defeated, your character will be looking for someone else who's still alive. So sometimes it will not go as planned based on the formation of the attacks like the S mark, I mean X mark and the plus sign, something like that. But as much as possible, if you're going to or will be able to clear your enemies in one turn, that will be really good. So now I'm just going to do this in auto mode. And don't forget, look at your current available uh, cook rice. I only have plus 16 left because I was farming for the entire morning, I guess. So we're just going to do this in auto mode. And now you can see that Wiggle is on the last one or last part. It's because he self-destructs. So I think that's the case for real. <laughs> so we're just going to do a couple of battles so that you'll be able to see. Just check your slimes or your cook rice, I mean. Because when it's all used up, there will be a message that will prompt on your screen saying that you don't have any more cook rice. Do you want to replenish? Something like that. But you can see your characters here, the turns. It's really fixed. And I think if I'm going to put another character replacing Wiggle, I'm pretty sure the formation is still going to get fixed. Or it will be fixed. And also, on the lower left portion of the screen, you can see this item. This is currently for the event. <laughs> Well, there will be times that you won't be able to finish them in one turn, so that's really okay. Just check the HP of your characters to be sure. So it's really in auto mode. And you can like do other things like work while the battle is ongoing. Yeah. So with the gears, the R grade ones, you'll be able to farm for slimes in hard mode. It's really helpful. And I'm pretty sure based on the developer's note, they are going to fix the stats for 
all of the gears i think because they are going to make the sr and ur gears much better because for now i think there is just a small gap and it was said there on the developer's note that's why players are using the r gears instead of the sr because when it comes to the maximum stats i think there is only a little difference so since getting the r grade gears are much easier compared to the sr so players tend to use the r gears preferably but after the update next week they're going to make a huge gap so that we'll will be encouraged to get more higher rank gears because the difference will be really huge so that would be really good for all of us and that will really encourage us to get the sr grade ur grade because there will be a significance or difference a significant difference <laughs> and as you can see the tell hp is getting quite low so I just check every now and then if I have his HP somewhere down at 19. So what I do is just stop the battle and heal up and just go back again here. So you can see they were able to do it really, really pretty well. And I'm really satisfied with this formation and also my characters. So we're going to stop there. These are the slimes and items that I was able to get. So let's return to the ship. Oops, <laughs> our battle. But anyway. Just have to do it in auto mode, of course. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> So that's how I farm for slimes in hard mode. So it's best if you are going to increase your character's level at 80. Well, for Wiggle, since he is a 3-star character, we will be able to level him up, up to 60 only. But for others, uh, 80 is not the max. So let's say for Alec. I just have to rank him up later on whenever I have the necessary materials because I need this one for rank up star I need 4 pieces for each hero in order for us to have him rank up and his max level will be 100 so in the meantime I'm just farming for slimes and when it comes to the slimes I have currently it's this one not really a lot, but yeah, I was able to level up a lot of characters here. So I also level up Hayden because sometimes I'm using him. When it comes to his costume, Manga Research Club, this Meteor Fall skill, this is really useful. Although it uses a lot of SP or skill power, but still it's useful on certain battles. So. Aside from that, I'm going to show you that particular item that we can exchange currently because we have this event. All you have to do is go here and look at this event exchange. So if you have quite a lot of these, you can exchange here. You'll be able to get a lot of items. And this is why my coins reach up to 1 million something something. And when it comes to my diamonds, I was able to get a lot also. So that would be really helpful for our coming event. So yes, I think that's all that I need to share for you because I already shared with you the formation also when it comes to my character's gears again. These are just our great gears but we were able to do it in hard mode when it comes to farming for slimes and just don't forget to enhance them by 9 or plus 9. When it comes to this SR, this is actually his exclusive gear for 
I like and for Wiggle also I happen to get his UR and I'm so happy because on the next update they are going to add a special stat for each of the exclusive gears for each characters and that will make them really unique and stronger and also I can't wait for the gears to be you know enhanced or upgraded and I just want to show you my Layla okay for Fred first he can only craft gears up to SR but for Layla she'll be able to craft gears up to UR but currently my UR's gears here are closed or the light is dim compared to this one because I haven't uh, leveled her up yet as of now but eventually when I do that I'll be able to craft for UR gears and when it comes to the SR gear even though it's already lit up I still can do them because I, I lack resources so yeah it, it kind of takes time but it's still fun so that will be all guys for today Please don't forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel, YouTube channel, and please give my video some love by liking them if you want to, and I'm going to see you again on the next video. This is Bear Gaming. I hope you all have a great weekend.